on BBC Hereford and Worcester. And, well, US President Donald Trump's on his way to the UK. He'll make a three-day state visit from the 3rd to the 5th of June. No, I'm around, actually, if he was a pop-in. Uh, the President and First Lady Melania will be a guest of the Queen and attend a ceremony in Portsmouth to mark the 75th anniversary of D-Day. He will also hold talks with the Prime Minister at Downing Street. Mr Trump met the Queen at Windsor Castle when he came to the UK in July last year. He was on a working visit. Not former butler, former royal butler even. Let's give him his uh, full credit. Grant Harold is here now. Hi, Grant. Good afternoon, sir. Great to talk to you. Um, and tell us about the, uh, the the pomp and ceremony of a, of a state visit. What? Uh, well, how, do, how does Buckingham Palace transform? Well, it's it's quite a it's quite an amazing thing to actually see. I mean, obviously, last year wasn't a state visit, um, and this time round, there is the pomp and circumstance. So, when the visiting head of state um, arrives, is normally a parade at horse, at horse guards parade where the visiting head of state gets to inspect the, the troops. And then there's normally a carriage procession back to the palace. Uh, they obviously spend a bit of time there. And then going by normal kind of traditions, the state dinner takes place on that night. And it's quite a, it's quite a grand affair. I mean, it's a chance to kind, of, to kind of show off to another world leader, you know, the kind of grandeur, the pomp and circumstance the country kind of has to offer. And in the palace, they've got some wonderful things to see. They also sometimes have um, a private kind of exhibition of, of items that relate between the two countries. So they can have a little walk around with the Queen. Um, that possibly could even take place after they get back to the palace initially. And, and, and I assume that now, I mean, the palace staff uh, uh, have, have, have changed up a gear or changed down a gear, whichever way is the right way to go, to, to really make sure that this is, is, a, is a success in, what, just six weeks' time? Well, exactly. And, and the, the kind of planning obviously goes months, it does go months in advance. Um, and the actual setting everything up takes about three days um, from start to finish because there's obviously quite a lot of, quite a lot. Of, in fact, when you sit down at the table, they, I think from memory there's about six pieces of cutlery in front of you. So you've got to kind of know, I hope you know which, <laughs> which, which piece of cutlery you're going to use. But yeah. I always <laughs> start at the outside, work your way in, you, you can't go wrong. Um, and it is, it is a wonderful experience. In fact, again, uh, on occasions, there's even been Scottish pipers um, that have played before the meal. So it's, um, it's a city. It's a, it's a great chance to kind, of, to kind of show off the kind of pomp and, and circumstance. I just hope this time round... Unlike Windsor, we don't lose the Queen for a few moments. I don't know if you remember the last time where they were inspecting the Guard of Honour, um, the President stood slightly in front of the Queen, and from the angle, we all, we all lost her for a few moments. That's right. Uh, it caused a bit of a constitutional crisis, actually, but thankfully she was still there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And does, does the Queen enjoy uh, a state visit? Does she enjoy all that surrounds this? She's, I think she does. I mean, she's very... I mean, I've always been lucky enough to kind of witness her with with guests and, and also visiting heads of state. And, you know, she's very good. She's very good at putting people at ease. It doesn't matter background, who you are. Uh, she, the way I've seen her, she treats everybody the same. And she's got a wonderful, wonderful personality, a wonderful way about her, and a great sense of humour. Uh, you know, that's something I do remember about the Queen. And people have said to me, does she really have a sense of humour? She's got a wonderful sense of humour. Um, in fact, there's even... The other day I noticed somebody very cleverly had been looking at um, clips of the Queen in different documentaries and put them together. And you saw that, as I call it, that glint in the eye, which is, is great to see. So, no, she's a, she's a fantastic host. And what about you, uh, Grant, with your time in the, in, the, in the royal household? Which state visits did, did you witness? Well, do you know, when I was there, because I worked for the Prince of Wales, we, didn't, we, we went over and kind of saw, but we didn't actually get involved, which is quite nice in a way. Uh, I always quite liked the idea of not having to do the late nights and that kind of thing. Yeah. But I don't even remember a few years ago, we had the G7 um, summit, which was quite a big, a big um, thing in the country, and I was involved in that. And that, that was amazing, because we had more than, we obviously had quite a lot of world leaders there, and it was uh, one of those moments that I always cherish. And again, seeing how the Royal Family interacted with them was, was fantastic. They're, they're, they're masters when it comes to the whole etiquette and protocols of, of how to, to do things. So I'm sure this visit, like all the others, will be just as much as a success. Of course. Thank you, as always, for your time, Grant. Nice to talk to you. Thank you, likewise. Uh, former Royal Butler, Grant Harold on the grandities is that a word it is now on a on, on a state visit there's, there's this music and and maybe this one as well is, is also appropriate